today. Inequality, energy distribution, and crisis energy are the main issue in Indonesia. Indonesia Outlook Energy 2015 informed since 2000 until 2013, electrical consumption grew up about 6.8% every year. But there are about 13,000 villages in Indonesia not yet powered by electricity or electrification ratio of Indonesia is 92.80% based on Kementerian SDM on June 2017. Furthermore, electrification ratio special region Yogyakarta is 89.63% and then electrification ratio of Central Java is 95.50%. The most obstacle to increase electrification ratio are land readiness factor, transportation, and the access to the village. In addition, Indonesia have many energy resources like geothermal and solar power plant. Talking about geothermal and solar power plant, the most interest point is geothermal wash. Geothermal wash is the most potential silica resource in solar cell development. But until now, geothermal wash is not useful and throw away. Beside that, there are some pilots near geothermal activity is not powered by electricity. For example, some village in Gunung Kidul is not yet powered by electricity through they are near geothermal activity in Dieng. So, I am Rinaldi Surya Gumilar, representasi Proklamasi 45 University of Yogyakarta in Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi 2018 for the present Implementation Society Electric for Friends, an appropriate solution to responding the problem of precious energy and lighting in underdeveloped area. Society Electric for Friends is a modification solar plant or PLTS. PLTS is a power plant that converts solar energy into electrical energy. Its PLTS installation has a tool for absorbing and converting solar energy into electrical energy called solar cell. In the Society Electric Fall Frame program, every resident house will be installed PLTS installation using self produce and innovative solar cell based geothermal wash. The material of solar cell is silicon. In nature, silicon are not found as a native element, but they are found in silica compound. Geothermal wash is the most potential silica resource in solar cell development. The result of field studies at PT Geodiva Energy Unit Dieng on May 2017 showed the geothermal wash contains 99% silica. And then, the result of X-ray diffraction test on geothermal wash contains 100% silica. High level of silica will be advantageous because it's not necessary to clean the silicon from purity like igneous rock or orthoquarsit sandstone. Silicon separation products from geothermal walls are cut using grinder into small part of silicon cell composure that are integrated with each other. Silicon cell is arranged in such a way then integrate with each other and then covered by cover flat before then finally treated by clear liquid. Based volumetrically, solar cell that successful produce independently generate 20 WV of electricity. Implementation of society electric power plant in underdeveloped area can provide some several benefits. First, Society electric power plant can be a lighting solution. Second, it can be increased in electrification ratio in this cover. Second, it can be increased electrification ratio in underdeveloped area. And then the last, in situ lighting of resident homes can easy mount burden of electricity costs so that the welfare of the people can increase. Yeah,
bisa dilihat sudah terinstal pak solar cell dengan daya 50 wp itu artinya dalam satu jam dia bisa menghasilkan 50 watt berhasil kan?